Hi! What's up guys? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Yesterday Apple had their WWDC conference where they announced the iPhone 4. Oh my goodness. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about it. So just sit back, relax, and get ready to have some mobile news served phonage style with some beef and black bean sauce. That's like a little mm. So yesterday Steve got up on stage and did his thing and it was all like, Hey everybody, this is the new iPhone right here in this PowerPoint behind me. And people were like, ah, because everybody knew what the new iPhone would look like and stuff because of the whole Gizmodo thing. And then he said, this will be called the iPhone 4. And everybody stood up because they thought it was going to be called the iPhone 4G or the iPhone HD. And it just blew their mind like, Pow! so just imagine Pow! times like a million because there are people watching a live stream. Everybody's like, oh, Steve, this is amazing. You are a genius. Just like that, Steve got his standing ovation. You know how to work a crowd. Mm -hmm. Then the slide showed the rundown of the phone. The specifications, the features, the release date, and so on. So here's a general overview of the iPhone 4. You know, stuff that Gizmodo didn't leak and, and whatnot. The iPhone 4 has a 3.5 inch display, that's the same as the iPhone 3G and 3GS, with a resolution of 960 by 640, and they're calling it the Retina display. It has pixel density to the max, and everything will be exceptionally crystal clear, as you see in this comparison. Retina also has something called in-plane switching technology, which means that any way you pan your phone like this, the screen will look awesome, which is like, it's amazing, like apple bottom jeans and boots with fur and, you know, again, crunk and stuff. A really cool new feature of the iPhone 4 would be their video calling service called FaceTime. True to Apple's nature, everything is dead simple and it looks super awesome. I'm sure everybody who gets a new iPhone will want to play with FaceTime, but this might present a small problem. What if you don't want to play with FaceTime? Then your friends think you're like mean. Hey! Oh, hey dude, what's up? Hey, come on, let's do FaceTime! Come on, let's do FaceTime! Uh, FaceTime right is so good! Like, let's do FaceTime! I can't do it. Come on, man. I thought we were friends. You don't want to do FaceTime oh, come on, with come me? On, don't do this. Come on, in the That's minute. it, Kevin. I'm not your friend anymore. Damn you, iPhone. I can't even make Dookie in peace. <sighs> okay, say you're not digging the iPhone 4 at all. Hey, you're such an Apple fanboy and I hate the iPhone and I hate your face. That's cool, there's plenty of options. The main competitive device would be the HTC Evo 4G on Sprint. Other than a touchscreen, the Evo is pretty much everything the iPhone isn't. It's huge, it's got Android and so on and so forth. And Gadget compiled a chart, listing the specifications of all of today's top of the line smartphones in an all out clash of the titans. In terms of specifications, the iPhone 4 seems to be leading the way. Okay, say you have the iPhone 3G or 3GS, is the iPhone 4 worth the upgrade? In short, yes! Everything is better on the iPhone 4, but if you recently signed a contract to get your 3G or 3GS, then I recommend you wait until your contract is over, or until you can't really take it anymore. You just gotta, mmm, the iPhone 4, cause you, mm. Okay, okay, the iPhone 4 is awesome. Now tell me when that thing is gonna be launched or I'll eat your Face. Okay, calm down there. Here are the launch dates. For the US, pre-orders start June 15th, but you can pick up the iPhone on June 24th. For you UK peoples, O2 Orange and Vodafone will be launching the iPhone on June 24th as well. For T-Mobile Germany and the carriers in Canada, the launch date is sometime in July, but there is no official date yet, which is kind of poopeth. All I know is, is that the line will be immense, like Justin Bieber immense. Is the camera on? Hey guys, it's John here from Tech7TV and we're standing outside the Apple store and the line looks immense. Let's talk to this guy over here. Hey there, how long I, have you been standing okay, here? I, I've been, I've been standing don't, here don't for like, okay, don't, okay, don't, okay, don't okay, keep the mic. Okay, stop okay, talking to the microphone. For, for three days. Wow, yeah, it is, certainly smells like it. Um, how does it make you feel? It's amazing, it's so good, it's just... You know, just watching that, I love watching that big countdown clock over there. Okay, uh, uh, it looks like you're letting people in. Let's go, let's go. Oh. High five! High five! Why is no one giving me a high five? I, I don't care, this is amazing! Since the iPhone 4 was announced, some people were like, Psh the iPhone, who cares? But I was wondering, for you people who hate the iPhone 4 or hate iPhones in general, why? And for you people who like the iPhone, how do you feel about people who are hating it? Let the discussion begin. Ooh. Today's theme of the day is the iPhone Astra theme. The icons for this theme look absolutely amazing. Be sure to check it out if you've got a jailbroken phone. This episode of Phonage is brought to you by Jumping Jacks Fail. Classic video. Look at that kid doing his dance there. And what on earth is that one doing at the end? Last episode, I asked if you had a data plan, how much data do you use every month? Got a bunch of awesome responses, as always, because you know, you guys are ponage. A lot of you guys.
guys didn't use more than two gigabytes a month. Some were three to five gigs. And this one dude uses 10 gigabytes a month on, on what? I don't know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. For all the links to all the stuff we talked about today and more, check out the bottom bar. This was John from T7, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Angry yelling face. Adding an exclamation mark shows that you mean business.